Arista, I think you'll be able to figure out how this mechanism works. If you start over here, what's that? Well, it looks like a tea kettle. Right. And it's making steam, and the steam's coming through here. Yeah, and going into this section. And it's pushing okay, up this. Okay, pushing it, but watch, we'll let, we'll let it go. Okay. It starts rising. Right. Then there's another outlet over here. That takes some of the steam out. Right, and there's a little clamp over there. See? And there's a clamp here where I can open and close, letting the steam in and out. And I call this the Dennis Harlan steam engine because he's the young man who invented uh, this version of a steam engine that was among the very earliest to, to be made to pump water out of a mine. So let's see how it works. I will, mine is now open, so you close yours and what should happen? <laughs> okay, and when it gets up there, I'll close mine and then you open yours so we can make it go up and down. And it rises okay. and lowers. Originally, a young boy was hired to open and close these valves and he got that idea that he could use this up and down motion to open and close the valves. And he worked out a whole system of gears and levers and whatnot to make it do that. <laughs> so then he thought, well, I don't have to stand in here and watch it. So he was out playing when his boss found him and fired him because he thought he wasn't paying attention. And then when he went back and noticed uh, the whole contraption that the, that the boy had rigged up, he realized the engine was much more efficient. So he hired the boy back again. Because it went faster. Because it went faster, right. And of course, this up and down motion is turned into a, a circular motion and all kinds of other stuff, depending entirely upon what you wanted to do in the early days. What's this right here that's holding well, the Well, that's a down. seal. Uh, and I think Dennis made that out of um, uh, weather stripping in order to seal, because you need a seal that's tight enough to hold in the steam and at the same time let the piston move up and down. Oh. Okay, anyway, now you've had a chance to work the early steam engine, or at least a model of the early steam engine in which uh, up and down motion actually was put to work.